Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you um, because I got these stamps from Creating Craft and it was the free gift this month. Um, and they are Dreamy's exclusive designed clear stamps. Um, so it also came with this leaflet as well um, that tells you about their shop and um, where it's based. Um, uh, let's have a look. We may be unavailable when we have create and craft or retail shows, which is fair enough. But yeah, there, um, there is a website that you can go to as well. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I would show you that. So this is the stamp set that I am going to be using today. So it has just arrived through the post. So I thought, why don't we um, make a card using them? And ladies just managed to drink my coffee. Or should I say, my husband's given lady my coffee. Really? Really? That was my coffee? Lady's not too meant to have coffee. That means she's going to be hyper all afternoon. Thank you so much for that. He's not talking because I'm filming. But he's just he's just given her the rest of my coffee. I think that's mean. I think it, that I deserve a new one for that. Um, right, okay, let me grab my stamping platform, which is just off to the side of me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, oh, I still need to actually clean this off. Um, right, I need to grab some baby wipes, so I won't be a second. Okay, so um, I've just actually used my cloth that I have instead. Right, um, this is just some Copic Friendly card. Um, it's just leftover card that I've had from other projects. So um, my aim is to actually, instead of getting new sheets out, which I do all the time, to use what I have. Um, so I'm wanting um, to build, actually, a couple of flowers using these. So I'm going to stamp them all out. I'm going to colour them together. I am going to use my tri-blend markers because I really, really love them and I love how they work. Um, let's do some sprigs as well. Why not? Um, so, yeah. Um, and I may as well do those leaves. So basically I'm doing all of these stamps. Um, they are gorgeous stamps, I have to admit. Really, really pretty. So, um, I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because that is um, alcohol ink friendly. Um, so, that's what I'm going to use as a stamp thing is with. Um, I think I may actually need to look at re-inking this ink pad. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, so, I'm um, just going to stamp these out. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp them out a few times. Because um, I think that will be nice. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, I think my husband needs to go and cut our grass today. So, I think you'll all agree with me. Um, the grass is desperate to be cut. <laughs> oh, dear life in lockdown it's amazing right i'm not getting a good impression of this one um let's have a look oh yeah i'm not getting that edge there we go um i think that's the only pro downside to when you're doing all of them in one go they are designed to do one at a time but yeah I like to I like to make life easy if I can right okay so there's one bit uh let's see do I have more bits of card um yeah so I will I'm gonna do some more because like I said I think I want to build these stamps up if I can um so I think that would be quite nice uh, can we fit this one on yeah so let's take the sprigs off. We'll do them on another sheet. Yeah, of course we can. Um, so I think I'm going to do three flowers all told using these. So it is going to involve fussy cutting and colouring three sets of flowers, which, as most of you know, 
I do not mind. I love, 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 love fussy cutting. So, um, yeah. Right, I just want some more ink on this big flower. Okay, so there's that one. Um, like I say, I'm wanting to use um, bits of card that I already have um, because yeah i'd like to use it so because i seem to when i do videos what i tend to do is i actually just get a new um sheet out and really there's no reason for me to do that um when i have lots of scraps or that's what i so i've got myself a little storage unit um which is for A6 paper and it's just right next to my pens. So now all of my scrap bits go in there and then that's my first port of call. So that's where I'm going to start going. Um, when I'm doing my stamping art, when I need some paper for matting or anything, because like I say, I do want to start using it up. Right, we've got this side as well. Um, and do you know what I'll do? No, I don't. I only want three lots of flowers. So let me put these back. I will transfer these into a CD case. As most of you are aware, I do store all of my flowers into um, into CD cases, and then I number them, and I know what I'm what I need. So yeah, right. Pop them down there. So what I'll do is I'll stamp these and then we'll turn that paper around and then we'll stamp these again. So, so there's one. Um, whether or not we use all of these, I don't know. Um, but it's always nice to make sure that we have plenty. So again, stick that down. Okay, right, so I think that's enough. So let me pop that away because I don't need that now. Well, let me drop it, shall we say. Um, I'll pop these back on here um, as well because we don't need them. Um, right, okay, so that's them done. Right, pop that off to the side. Okay, so... Um, right move that these are our flowers so let's get them coloured in so I'm going to go with um, so we've got this darker red shade so I think I'm going to do these now I am going to um, fussy cut these out so if we go over the edge it's fine and the, actually the likelihood is that I will go over the edge because yeah um, my hands are just not very good at the minute. Um, I think I really need to go back to the doctors about them because they're just hurting all the time. And then I've noticed on this knuckle, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little bump. So, um, no Milo, it's the start of arthritis. Um, so it does run in my family. Um, my dad has it terribly um, and so does my mum. So, um but there's not much I can do about it so yeah let's not complain right okay so you will also notice I have some gel polish on my nails I'm so chuffed so um, I actually have a gel polish in um, in my like my nail varnish collection but it's never ever stayed on when I've done it which is why I've always ended up just going to the shop and um, I was sat the other day and I thought you know what I'm, I'm putting on nail varnish all the time um, I think well you're going to get a range of videos with either like a greeny coloured nail varnish on or um, clear nails um, and I just thought you know what let's try it again and so far they've been on four days I've had a little bit of chipping on these two um, but I very silly forgot to put the base coat on because I was talking to my sister-in-law at the time but I do feel like my nails look so much better so if um, they stay on and are easy to maintain then I think I'll just maintain my own nails from now on because they do grow long but I found that when because I craft, the reason why I get the gel nails on them is because um, they actually 
um so they they snap an awful lot whereas when i've got the gel nails on my nails um my nails don't snap as much and they're really really sturdy um and much much better to sort of maintain and look after so and you just plus you guys don't want to see messy nails while i'm crafting um so it's also so that you guys are not having um to to put up with my my messy nails so yeah um but um most of you will know as a crafter you cannot unfortunately have nice nails which yeah is a bit annoying but then I suppose as a child, even as a child, I didn't have very nice nails. I used to bite them terribly. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then they used to grow. So, um, the other reason why I started is also my nails curl. Um, so, as soon as they get to the tip of my finger, so as soon as they get there, they start curling. So, they've just, they've just never had much strength in them, really. So, yeah. Right, I'm just adding the mid-tone in. So I've just done the dark tone all the way around. Now I'm adding the mid-tone. Um, so, and then we're going to add in the light one again. And hopefully this will look all right. It's a bit darker than what I thought this was going to be. But never mind. Um, I thought it would be a lighter colour, but I still like it. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, do you know what? I like that colour and I also love this one. So I think I'm going to do a mixture of colours. So let's do, let's do this one. So, yeah, so I think um, what I'm going to do is do just these two colours, but let's mix the flowers up. So this is like, um, this one is Antique Pink Blend. I love this. This is what, um, see, I get a scrawler box and it was down to scrawler box that made me buy these pens um, because they had three of them in um, in the scrawler box itself. Um, and it was actually trying them because I'd seen them and I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted them because obviously I already have my Winsor & Newton pens. Um, yeah, I just fell in love with them. Um, I highly recommend them, especially if you are a lazy crafter like me and trying to work out blends and stuff. Or even perfect for beginners because it gets you used to that sort of blending of um, of the colours. So, yeah. Um, like I said, the only downside I would say to these pens is they are very chunky. Um, so they do hurt my hands. Um, after a while and I, I struggle with the control of them but because I do a lot of fussy cutting um, I'm really I'm quite happy to sort of um, use them and know that I'm going to go out of the um, outside of the lines with them whereas my Winsor & Newton ones I think because they're rounded I can use them quite easily and I've got more control over the pen itself um, so I, I don't go out of the lines as much with them um, but thankfully I do do a lot of fussy cutting so um, yeah so it's all good um, so I'm just adding on the dark tone and then we're going to add on our mid tone and then finish it off by going over with our light tone um, so and it just gives a really nice professional finish I still highly recommend though that you go to Kit and Clouder um, if you would like to learn uh, how to colour more professional because I am not a professional at all. I am very much a beginner. Um, I still do very much block colouring because I love my block colouring. Um, so yeah. So um, I can hear, oh she's behind me, I could hear a little doggy and it's little lady she's just sat behind me i'm hoping she doesn't go after anything yeah she is good lady please don't so she's just always up to trouble like honestly so i'm sure she can sense that something's going on in the world so 
to make us all happy. She thinks that let's cause as much trouble as we can and then mum and dad can run around after me and yeah, that's what I think anyway. Oh, I like that. Right, okay, so um, I'll put this bit on speed up because it is going to take me a while, but I, I'm going to have the whole process of me colouring. Um, the other thing, what about, how is this colour? Oh, I might, I might do another one with this colour. So this one is pale pink shades. So let's, let's if we don't like it, we can always re-stamp another image. See, straight out of the lines. Yeah, I think oh, these three will work well. But what I think I'm going to do though is when I um, assemble all of these together is I'm not going to use all the same colour on one of the flowers. I think we'll mix the colours together um, because then I think that way they will, they will look nice. Um, so they'll all blend. Um, and like I say, I know I'm going out of the lines. Um, but... Yeah, unfortunately, that's just <laughs> that's just my hands. I'm probably not the best person actually to show off these pens, just because I can't colour in properly. Um, so yeah, yeah. So I'll do this one, and then what we'll do is we're going to put it on speed up, um, while I colour the rest in, and while I colour um, other bits and pieces. And um, she really is up to trouble. I don't know if you can hear her. So I'm just going to add in my dark tones and then we'll add in our mid tones. So I'm just going along all the lines. Um, she is, I know, there is, there's actually nothing in this room. Well, I say nothing, she always finds something. So I've made sure that I've tidied up so she can't actually pick anything up off the floor. Um, so when she's in here, the hope is that she doesn't chew everything. But I just don't trust her yet. Um, she does have a bed in here. I have popped her in here um, with her own bed so that she can sit with mum. But yeah, she's uh, she's doing a thing. Right, I'm just adding some mid-tones just really along that bottom bit. And then we will add the light tone over the top. <clears throat> like this. Yeah, I like that colour. Okay, so this is what we're doing. So these are the three colours I'm going to use. Um, and then I have... So for the leaves, um, we've got jade green shade. So that's the colour that I'm going to use for my leaves. So we're only using four pens, um, which is really, really cool. So like I said, I'm just going to go over all of these. Last one. And then, yeah, we'll pop it on speed up um, while I finish the rest of it. So if you don't want to watch the rest of the, um, the colouring process, then please do feel free to skip. But um, yeah, hope you enjoy.
okay so i'm all finished um so here are all my flowers and all of my um greenery bits so what i thought i would do let's build the flowers together so i am going to swap them um i have to say it was very relaxing doing this um so we're just going to um swap these around uh, no we want this one on there and there um so they are all um they've all got the colors in so that's what we are doing um that one on there um followed by that one so that one will be this one followed by this one and then this one followed by this one so all of our flowers are going to match so i'm just going to grab my glue i do need to stand that over because uh otherwise it's going to take a while and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in a card base so i'm just going to use a six by four card base um for these and then what i'm going to do is we're actually just going to do some ink blending very very simple um and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to bring in my worn lipstick um and what's this um and my milled lavender so i'm going to go all over with the milled lavender first and then um make sure there's not ink on this and then we'll come in around the edges with the worn lipstick so um starting off around the edge um, and we're just going to build the colour up all the way around. So you're probably not going to see this on camera because it is a very light um, colour. Um, but I just want it to be nice and plain um, and very, very light. I want the flowers to be the focus of this card. So, But I do want the card to have like a slight colour to it. So that's what we are doing now. Um, I like that so like I say very very pale um, so as you can see really really pale but really really nice so just a little bit more just to build that colour up and then to bring in the pink from the flowers um, I'm going to bring in my worn lipstick and we're just going to do this around the edge so let's see if I can get that off there we go so, and we're just going to come in around the edge and use it as a frame so we are going to be framing our gorgeous gorgeous flowers so yeah I love doing this with my distress inks using it as my frame um, you just think they work so well so nearly all the way around so just like that maybe a bit more in this corner there we go yeah liking that uh, although let me just bring in just making it so it looks um yeah a lot darker okay i think that's much better right okay so that's our card itself so what i'm going to do is let's glue these um flowers together and my glue still hasn't come all the way down come on right okay put that one there we'll use it in a sec let's see if this one's unclogged and we'll use this one this one's quite a runny there we go <clears throat> excuse me this one's quite a runny glue um i really really like it i did order some more from create and craft i ordered two but only one has arrived so i need to chase that up um i have to admit i'm not very creating craft at the minute i'm not very good um yeah so i don't know what's going on there um but i know there's a few other people that are having problems with their orders too so it's not just me so they're obviously getting a lot more, I'm assuming they're getting a lot more orders than what they're used to. Um, okay, so there's that. So once that's dry, we'll puff it, we'll puff it up. 
we'll puff our our petals up so I'm just putting a blob in the center um, and you'll see that I did cut these out um, all the way so there's no white bits left on it um, and that was just it was really so that we can bring up those leaves and give it some some texture um, so yeah um, and then this one so I'm just offsetting them all as well so as you can see there's no gaps in them um, so yeah and then pop that on there so again let's wait for that to dry and we'll do the same with that one and then let's pop the last one together um, and then I think the sentiment I'm going to use oh, that one's gone off centre um, is this one true friends like you are hard to find so I think that's a beautiful beautiful sin so I'd like to use that one on this card so once we've got the flowers all arranged um, I think I'm going to bring in a coloured ink to stamp it and just stamp it directly to the card so that's what I'm thinking of doing so we're nearly there um, yeah, oh, I think these flowers look gorgeous. Right, okay. Um, let me bring back my pla um, my stamping platform because I do want to stamp it directly onto the card. Um, what I think I'm going to use actually is I'm going to use my warm lipstick to do this. Um, yeah, because why not? Right, I'm just going to have it just at the bottom there and then we'll have our flowers arranged around there so yeah let's use the warm lipstick for this and it will need a few going overs um, that Y isn't looking as though it's wanting to stamp so let's see if that oh that's better localize it a bit more there oh, I like that okay right so I'll pop that back on there we don't need that and then um, I want to also bring in so I'm going to bring in my black splashes as well because I'd like to put some black splashes on the background because I think that would look quite nice let me grab a paintbrush this one will do so, and then let us put some black splashes down. There we go. Oh, love, absolutely love it. I just love how that's looking. Right, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. These should be dry. So I'm just going to bend over each petal very carefully because I don't want these to break off because the joints to the centre are quite um, small so yeah if we don't if we can help it we really don't want them to to come off at all oh and I think I am going to end up breaking it actually do you know what I don't do it because I think I'm going to end up breaking them so um let me grab some foam uh, I thought I had some I do um I'm going to just raise these up onto foam so um, I use two bits so let's pop this on so I'm going to put that one there and then maybe this one here and then this one there like that and then we'll add in our um, greenery but I think what I should have done is actually shape these before I stuck them together um, but I just don't want to risk breaking them they're, they're beautiful um, and I love how they're looking so <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think I need to go and get a drink of water. Okay. Um, right. Last one. And then we'll just pop that just like that. Then we have all of the greenery. So I do want to tuck these in. So we're going to have them just like this. So I am just going to grab my glue. Um, and we're just going to pop glue just on the stalk bits and just on a couple of the leaves and then push that down 
back so that it's we've still got that gorgeous movement within the flowers itself yeah I like that I think the hints of this green really really work um, I think it works quite well so oh, can we put that there we go and then we've got these little um, green leaves as well which we'll add these in so I'm doing the same just putting a, a drop of glue just on the end and then sticking them under and then I think once that's done I think this um, this is finished so I'm loving how it's looking so yeah I'm quite pleased with this right. And I don't mind that they're coming off the edge of the card. That really doesn't bother me. Oh, no, I don't want to use them ones. So, okay. Right, let me pop them bits in the bin. I don't need that. I can go off there. Um, I will put them in. Actually, I have a bit box now full of bits. So, um, of a leftover project. So, we'll pop them in there to be used on another project instead of wasting so they're in there um so yeah so that is it that is my card for today i hope you've enjoyed this uh, so to remind you that it was a stamp set i did get from create and craft and it was free all you had to pay was a postage on it um so yeah which i didn't think was bad and it's from dreamies it's an exclusive design clear stamp range and if you want to pause the video that's their web address there um, and this will give you all the information so if you pause the video you can um yeah you'll be able to go and check them out so um thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hopefully we'll see you very very soon in my next video but until then happy crafting bye